Hey, what's up, hey, guys? What's up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of More to the Story. I'm Farron Moore. And I'm Tahir, who's about to push his wife off the ottoman. It's going to be a great show, guys. <laughs> this is actually the fan takeover. Not really takeover. We just invited the, yeah. the, the supporters, um, the More Mob tribe, and, and, and everybody that watches More to the Story. Uh, we appreciate y'all. So we always like to engage with y'all. And so we invited some of the listeners and watchers onto this episode. So uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And this is super exciting because one of them is still at work. So I'm gonna I'm bring her on last so she can get her work done because she's, right now I'm looking at the screen and she's like, no, 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 I already sent that to you. You didn't get that? Well, per my last email, I, I said that you should get it in five minutes. It's been 10, thanks, get out of my face. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna bring her on last to make sure she got everything squared away with that. Uh, first off, man, um, uh, this is somebody who's been rocking with us for a while. Uh, she came out to LA. She hit us up. We uh, grabbed a drink. Uh, we, was just, 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 these are people's right here. She's called from Mississippi. All right? <laughs> Mississippi. Mississippi. She was like, y'all should come down here. I'm not coming to Jim Crow land to kick it with you. You come out here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a strong supporter and faithful member of the More Mob. Put your hands together. Welcome to the show, Kalicia. Bye, 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 bye. So stop hating on Mississippi, first and foremost, because we brought y'all out here. I don't know if y'all got paid, but we love y'all out here. <laughs> I got paid. Oh, I would have Mississippi. I would have been in the airport with all the tractors, all, <laughs> all the barrels of hay. Airport this big. You gotta bring Farron down here for real, for real though. Nah, I don't. I I, I love my family. I wouldn't. Okay, never mind. Me. I'll bring Farron out here. Never mind. You're not coming. She's not coming. <laughs> I forbid. I'll sit in the front door, in front of the front door, like I forbid you to leave. This is going to damage us if you leave. <laughs> uh, uh, it's going to damage us. <laughs> it's oh, not Kalisha trying to fly me out though. I like getting flew out. I'm gonna flew my girl out. Come through. She's trying to fuck. <laughs> I like getting Look flew at her face. Out. Look at her face. <laughs> oh, damn. This is gonna be a wild episode. Uh, no, somebody was saying something to me over there. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. In front of my face. I love it. Uh, <laughs> next up, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna slide on over to Delaware. My homie just got off work. Kick it back, hopped on with us, and this is amazing because it's always a struggle to get guys on the show who aren't like book guests. But when we try to engage to try, guys, I feel like a lot of times like they just sit back and enjoy it. Nah, man, come in with this. This is what it's about, man. Linking up. So I'm very thankful for any guy that not only comments and watches, but also is interactive and jumps in. So shout out to the homie right now. Y'all welcome to the show. T. Hudson, all the way from Delaware. Hey, I'm a Delaware. My head is heavy there. I'm a Delaware. My head is heavy there. Okay, girl. Don't act like that, man. I am. What's up, player? How you doing, man? It's great to be here, bro. somewhere. Yeah, I think her phone probably need to be charged or something like that. What's up with the player? How you feeling? Good man, chilling, chilling. It's crazy. I'm actually talking to you guys. Cause like, hey you know, man, it's, it's crazy to have you here, brother. Oh, and of course, somebody hit me right after the fact, and this is somebody that always. Yeah, but he had said in the thing that he was trying to get home. You had me speeding home. Okay, <laughs> I'll okay. catch the next. You know what? One. No, no, no. We'll get you in here if you're still ready, uh, Mr. Talent. Don't shoot it over, and I'll, I'll I'll get you in here because this is somebody that is always active aside of T T Hudson and Kalicia. And Coco Puff, Mr. Talent is always there. So I definitely want to get him in if he's still available. If you're available, you're at home, you're in a quiet place, go ahead and shoot it over, and I'm going to shoot it over to you, man, and we're going we gonna to get it going. T. Hudson, how was your day at work, brother? Good, man. Kind of slow, kind of fast at the same time. Same old, same old over here. Slow down. <laughs> how long have you been locking? September, this will be six years. Yeah, That's six from years. six years? Your well, hair was cheated. already. Well, I I cheated the system. Like I didn't go through the the short the short short phase. Uh -huh. My hair was like kind of down here when I first got it. Yeah, oh, see, man. I knew I knew yeah. someone's up, man. I knew he didn't yeah. start. Yeah. If your hair was going like that in six years, bro, you better go talk to somebody. Elari is a more what what is? I don't know the Bonner Brothers. <laughs> What's the hair convention? Bonner Brothers. Or no, Lori's. You said don't don't worry <laughs> about what I said. Just answer. Are you, have you eaten today? Yeah. The Bonner Brothers or whatever that is. He's about to season, about to season the hell out of the He put a little Lawrence on his head. 
<laughs> he's thinking hard about that brisket after this. I know that's what's going on. All that's right. it. See, see, you see now, you just started it. What I did. You started it. What I okay. Did. Oh, you started it. Anyway, uh, appreciate you being here, T Hudson, man. We're gonna go ahead and get the next person in. As soon as Kalicia comes, her camera gets on. I'm gonna bring her back in as well. Next up, ladies and gentlemen from Ace Town, stay down. You already know what it is. You know what I'm saying? King of the Trio was down there. She, she was actually at, when I kicked off my tour last year, I went down to Houston, Texas to try it out at Chris Sosa's space and get my jokes together, get my foot in everything. She was actually one of the people that helped out there. She came through and, and kept it all the way trail with some real ones. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the show, Coco Pop. Hey. Ace Town. What up, though? <laughs> what up, though? You have, I, you're you work right now. I really am. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I do the same with the headphones. I just listen to y'all. Yeah. I don't even have headphones. I don't care. Yeah, I'll be at a warehouse just be chilling. I'll be laughing to myself. <laughs> oh, my yeah, man. Hey, man. I appreciate you. How, how's your day going so far? Oh, it's good. It's Liddy. I'm here. It's Wednesday. I woke up. I made it to work good. Traffic was easy. Great okay. day. I love it. I love it. All right. Well, we're glad to have you. And we're going to pull Kalicia back in here. Oh, this is crazy. You never had people on. So it's not this many people. Ew, 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 ew. He, he just decided this all by himself. I, did. I am not prepared to talk to talk to strangers today. <laughs> I mean, technically, I met you too, I mean, Terry. camera was like, we're going to have people on. So hi, people. Mm. <laughs> I am very happy to be here. <laughs> 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 okay. All right. So Chris has it now. I'm sure he'll be on in a minute. I hate um, this cold. It's cold. It's cold. I hate this room. Keep in mind, right before we started, it was warm, and she was like, "It's hot in this house. I hate this house." She changes it every thirty minutes. This is what I deal with every day. Okay. So while we're waiting on Chris to get here, you go ahead and get started with the um, the questions. Oh, okay. T Hudson, this for you. Hello, love. Why should you see a therapist? Jesus. <laughs> uh, why should I see a therapist? I might, honestly, yeah. Maybe because um, my attitude towards certain people is changed dramatically out of nowhere. I don't know what's going on with me. I think it's just personal issues I'm probably going through. Is it personal issues or is it growth? Like, do you yeah. mean that in the sense of like no, it's definitely uh, people not. that you uh, used to get away with murder? <laughs> you Not murder, like specifically, like, but like, just let, you know, just constantly do foolishness. Uh, now you have like a short tolerance for that foolishness or do you mean that uh, people that you were once mad at for something, you realized that it wasn't that big for you to cut off communication to them and now you're okay, like reestablishing communication. None of, none of that at all. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> I did my best not to like, fumble. He was like, shut your will speaking ass up. Nah, none of that goofy like, shit. Cause like, just, uh, just because randomly, um, me and my mom, I don't know what it is. Well, I live back with my mom after I had moved to California, stayed there for five years and had to move back, unfortunately. But like, I don't know, it's just like, she means well all the time, but it's like when she asks asked me to do stuff for, like I do it, but it's like I've been more snappy. I don't know what. I mean. mm, I, yeah, I, I get that. And I, and I we're, gonna, we're gonna dive into that a little bit, but let me get Mr. Yeah, Talent in real quick, yeah. uh, and then and then uh, we're gonna we're gonna dive into that because I know exactly what you mean. That's just that, that. Yeah, that might just be parent, typical parent kid yeah, shit. Yeah, having to go back home. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I'm, I'm dealing I'm with that, that, that uh, being grown and then having to go back home and deal with someone else's rules when you're yeah. grown, and then yeah. the frustration. Of being the person that had to go back home, all of that is understandable, brother. Oh, so, yeah. uh, what it sounds like you're going through, uh, it's just going, going yeah. back home. Yeah, yeah just with being else. an adult on another adult. Yeah. I, I get that. My um sister went through that when she had to go back home. I remember after my first year of college, like I stayed, I was four hours away from home. <coughs> I had my own room. I didn't even have a roommate. And when I went back home, my mama, my sister, and my nieces were there. And I was like, I hate you all. Yeah. Why is it yeah. people in this fucking house to mm -hmm. send me back to school? 
Yeah. So yeah, I I get that. And then it's like somebody clocking what time I come in at night, and it's like you don't shut up talking to me when I was four hours away. You didn't know where the fuck I was. Twenty four hours a day, you didn't know where I was, and now you care. It's like that's well, how she, I felt. She popping that coochie all <laughs> times of the night. Now Mama got something to say. <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah, a, a <laughs> <laughs> Coco Puff. Yes, ma'am. The ugliest thing you own. Ooh. Um my sister probably gonna hate this, but she ain't gonna see it no way. Uh she gifted <laughs> me this Vera Bradley bag that is this ugly uh, floral print duffel bag. Vera Bradley Ooh. is for soccer moms. <laughs> Now, granted, she is a whole 10 years older than me, mm -hmm. so styles are different, but that is the ugliest thing. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's right up there. Vera Bradley, the people who wear and shop at Vera Bradley are the same ones who wear like Brighton mm, collection stuff. Yeah, they yeah. just, it's just, it's like Sarah Bond said, Oh, Vera Bradley, <laughs> say, say no, no more. more. <laughs> Exactly. Bags, though, mm -hmm. it's terrible. It's I mean, terrible. I still took it because I needed a travel bag, mm -hmm. but and it was free. You know everybody gonna steal it, right? <laughs> no, they will, and it'll be somebody, <laughs> old Midwestern soccer mom, that's like, "Oh, I wanted this one." Okay. <laughs> Next and up, Calicia. Mm. What were you doing the last time you truly binged on something? And this is. Food, TV, drinks, drugs, whatever. Penis. Penis. <laughs> Vagina. Vagina. <laughs> no, I have, I have gay tendencies. I've never acted on them um, as far as <laughs> binging goes. Um, probably alcohol. I'm an alcohol mm. binger. Like, when I get stressed, when I get hungry, when I get horny, I drink alcohol. So, <laughs> it's what I do. <laughs> Like you drink, you drink alcohol when you hungry. Yep, yep. <laughs> yes, I do. It's like my said, <laughs> liquid calories. <laughs> no, and I'm then all I drink Tito's. Tito's is supposed to be gluten free, so like real low calories. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're out calories. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Okay. These are some questions. Hey T, why are you crazy? Hey, what what's the ugliest thing you own? Hey, uh, <laughs> this is some, some like wow, right? Like, these, great these, ice these, are, these are these are very personal questions. <laughs> I feel like we got to do one now too, since since we gave them one. So you, you give me one, and I'll give you one. Give me this. It's like the door. Right. Sure. <laughs> I like this. If an Arabian prince offered you a magic carpet ride, where would you least want to go? Least want to go? Least want to go. <laughs> <laughs> I would least want to go. Ah, shit. Um, probably around the middle school. Middle school kids are different. They don't... Everybody else, like adults, will be impressed. Oh, you got a flying carpet, all that type of stuff. Even the homies, they'd be like, "Oh, you on the carpet with a nigga?" But oh, but it's still a flying carpet, right? <laughs> middle <laughs> middle school, high school students wouldn't give a shit. They would still roast me, on like <laughs> unbelievably, yeah. regardless of the carpet. Is somebody said, "East St. Louis." <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking to hey. your mama's house. <laughs> St. Louis and East St. Louis, they probably would figure out a way to get us down to the ground and rob us. I'm not gonna hold you. Right. Yeah. Be shooting holes in it. Come down here. That's fucked up, but yeah, they, they probably absolutely right though. They yeah. freeze. I would say East St. Louis, St. Louis. I, but I still would kind of want to stunt though. I, I know the right name of this. Okay. I got something for you. What would you willingly what would you be willing to shove completely inside of your ass for a thousand dollars? Oh snap! That was me. Well, shit. What? I think a shorter list would be. What would I not do? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. I was like, hmm, everything, anything. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, well, okay. Well, I give you this. Would you shove? <laughs> what I miss? <laughs> <laughs> would you shove 
a travel size bottle yes. of soap up your ass for a thousand dollars. Yes. Okay. That's easy. Yes. Yes. A foot, yes. Foot what? We got to talk. Those travel size <laughs> bottles are smaller than my butt plugs. <laughs> I thought he said uh, bar. So that's light work. <laughs> I think I froze. Oh, Robo Robo the question. <laughs> What? Oh, oh, all right. Oh my God. This is. I do have a little Robocop. Yeah. yeah. And I did announce that it was for my vagina. All right. <laughs> all right. Well, let's let's keep it going. What do we got for the people today? What are we talking about? Um, yes. So the topic today is the um the one who got away. I've been thinking a lot about that because of uh, our conversation in Big Bear. Mm -hmm. And um, just how that's how I felt about you when we like took that year hiatus, you know, um, mm -hmm. from each other. And it was like, oh, man, shit. Now I got to start over because that shit didn't work out. Um, and but I was still like comparing everybody to to you and or how I felt or there were certain things like I would experience something I would laugh about and I'm like damn I wish I could tell him this <laughs> that type of situation yeah. so just thinking that. about the um just the feels and the science behind um the experiencing the one that got away or mm -hmm. being the one that uh got away for somebody so T Hudson, when I brought up the topic, you was like, "Oh yeah, let's go." What's your story? Were you did, did somebody get away, or are you the one who got away? I feel like one got away. Um, my longest relationship was five years, stemming from two thousand nine to uh, what two thousand fourteen. Mm -hmm. we, we like broke up literally the day before my senior year in college. And, uh, yeah, I was like, damn. Mm -hmm. Single all single all through college. Um, I mean, taking all through college. You know, you know how much pussy I, I missed out on. You left on the <laughs> end, huh? right? But my body count doubled after that. This neither here nor there. But um, <laughs> this plays a lot. <laughs> yeah, I feel like she. Did, yeah, yeah, I feel like she did get away because, like, at the same time, thinking back on it, I feel like we just grew apart in a sense because mm -hmm. I went to college, she didn't. She was in the working world. I wasn't. She was ready to move out of her parents' crib. I'm, I'm still a college student. And she was trying to beat in my head, like college students work. And I was like, yeah, but I wasn't sure if I can balance that working, that workload, yeah. having a job and that. And I had my parents also, you know, I mean, encouraged me to stay on school. And I was just so worried about not, I mean, not failing and letting them mm -hmm. down. Mm -hmm. But uh, like I said, I guess we just grew apart. But uh, mm -hmm. was, I feel happened. like she was the one, man. I was just willing to marry and everything. Let me ask you a question. Have you circled the block? Though? I was just about to ask that. Oh, plenty. <laughs> <laughs> plenty. Especially when I was in California. I told her, that, man, I told her one of the two things. I was like, there's two things that'll make me stop talking to you. You either get pregnant or you probably get married. And she hit me with this. I'm, I got to tell you something. You're probably going to stop talking to me. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Which one was it? Yeah, she uh, she had got pregnant. But, mm. uh, like probably like a year or two, whatever passed. She got with some dude. She was with him, whatever, for like a few years. They broke up. Like she had sent me a message, like, cause I hit her up saying happy birthday or whatever. And like, of course, she you, said, of course you did, nigga. Of course right. I did. But listen, look, it was funny. It's funny virtual flowers like, I, hit up, was like, <laughs> I hit her up saying happy birthday, saying all this good shit. And she was like, you shouldn't have, um, I feel like, no, it wasn't even good shit. I just like, hope you have a blessed day. And she was like, I have a man, you shouldn't, that's not, appropriate for you to do this blah 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 you should have posted on my wall and and then i was like what the fuck i was like you want me to post it on your wall i'll post it on your wall i was gonna be like happy birthday i hope you have a good blessed day because i know she had a man but then then she blocked me oh <laughs> but then it turns out later it was the nigga it, like he did it i was like oh but damn yeah, 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 yeah. I was just gonna say that sounds like it was coming from him mm -hmm. and not yeah. her so the fact that he did it that makes yeah. sense yeah okay yeah. all right Okay, I appreciate you sharing, brother. Are they still together? Yeah, it's shot down. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, that's a good question, Kalicia. Are they still together now? 
Oh no, they've been broke up. She's yeah. Well, finding way. herself being single now. That whole mm-hmm. bit. I've been seeing every post about all that, but you know. Mm-hmm. Okay. So he got unblocked. Okay. Yeah. You're right. For him to know all that, he got unblocked. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Ready to go, my boy. I was, like, I was like a couple years now. Like, yeah, we can talk on and off. Well, I'll say something. Okay. She'll say something. Then she'll leave me on red, and that was it. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> but yeah. Y'all know I'll be having all the questions. How's the kid? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, does he look yeah. like you? <laughs> You don't. You don't. I was looking too. So you said, "Oh, happy birthday!" I was looking so hard. I was looking so hard. Now that's not me. That ain't me. Okay. She was looking too. All right. Yeah. All right. What's up? Uh, who you want to go with? Coco next? Yeah. Coco. Who the one that got away, or are you the one that got away? I mean, I feel like the guy that I'm with now. If we broke up, he would be the one that got away. But um, because our relationship is great, but uh, I feel like I was the one that got away for a couple people. I've been stalked Ooh. a couple times, you know. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, How has, to, why do you think that you were the one that got away? What took place? I mean, Houston got a lot of people in it, so. Mm-hmm. If you break up with somebody down here, you can go get somebody else real quick, you know. But to stalk somebody and stuff, you know. Yeah, because you made point of when we were talking about body counts on the last episode, you was like, you've had an interesting life. I wanted to dive more <laughs> into oh. what this interesting life is. If, you're, if your manager is far enough away, <laughs> you can tell us what was interesting, what happened. He cool. I don't care. Um <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I, I mean, I, I had a, I had a, I had a whole phase. I, I, I'll be honest with that. I had a whole whole phase. My entire twenties, I was single, living life. You know, got my little college degree, went to HBCU. Uh, oh, yeah. Got. Uh, I mean, I was I was a nerd in college. I was real chill in college. Like I wasn't a virgin by any means, but mm-hmm. you know, I didn't really do all of that because I had to focus on keeping my little academic scholarship that I had. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> my my focus then was, you know, academics. But, you know, once I graduated and got my little good paying job or whatever, yeah. <laughs> Right. Okay. She was the one at the at the club talking about what can I get you? Jim? Yeah, I was just, I was just what you say that? What Nigga, come up like, hey, let me buy you a drink. Nah, baby boy, I'll buy you a drink. What you say? <laughs> oh no, I would I, <laughs> you pay for a drink? never. Never. I am still a southern belle. Man. I am still a southern <laughs> woman. We don't pay for drinks over here. Oh, maybe that's my nigga ass thing. No. I definitely would do that shit in a heartbeat. Yeah, that's how we met. She walked up to me and grabbed my dick and was like, what you drinking? I was listening to this pussy if you don't get your hands off it. Now, we'll do some shit like that, but then he'll also buy the drinks. Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. I know I said, what you drinking? But I saw I could tell him so you could pay. <laughs> but yeah, right, I, I am Farron. Farron is huh? my spirit animal. I am Farron. Farron is my spirit animal. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people say that. Fools. This nigga's wild. Uh, Kalisa, are yes. you the one that got away or did somebody Absolutely. get away? Absolutely. This is like a no brainer. What do you mean? Am I the one that got away? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm on my second marriage. Well, we ain't married, but you know, I'm on my second relationship. And if we talk a relationship, I've only been with two people my whole life. Oh, wow. <laughs> now, if we talking body count, <laughs> that's a different story. Do you count women? If you're a woman, do men count men if they are men? I got questions. Yes. Body count is also body a good question that I would like to know the answer to. They have is, a are we talking penetration? Still sex. So they have a post. Does gender matter? Gender don't matter. If you if you was down there knocking them down, Kalicia, they count. Okay, yeah. I was just asking. I was just asking for the viewer's purpose. GTD but, um, is GTD. Regardless. She them draws. Yeah, you got them draws. That's all that matters. That's that's a count. What if it was just like you know funneling or something? Do that count? No. The foreplay. If you ain't get the draws, you ain't get the draws. Okay, all right, big, 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 big. You know, so, never, I mean, you're never still in the triples. It's all good. It's, <laughs> so, <laughs> still in the triples. it's all good. Yeah, I mean, I have a track list. I have a resume. If you want to know why I got away, but you know, I, I don't feel like we, you know, need to get into this. Let's see here and there. But I'm definitely, you know, a catch. Okay. <laughs> and not saying that you aren't, but we were just saying if there was one that, you know, maybe you felt like had got away at some point in high school love or something like that. 
don't so, even know high school or, ones count. So my fiance watches this show, but he gonna just have to hear the truth. Um, I wouldn't say that this guy got away, but there was this one guy that I had met. Like I knew him in college, but like after college, he and I had this kiss that we exchanged, and it was like the best kiss ever. Like we didn't date, we didn't have sex, we didn't see each other, but like that kiss is like rings in my head. Like I can just feel it, and I just want to know where that would have gone to. But no, what, what like, if that's all he had though? What if everything else was trapped? What if he didn't even have no genitals? He was just Smooth like down like it's <laughs> smooth down there like a Ken doll. He I was like, yeah, Ken doll. Yeah. Like Ken doll. <laughs> look, the world may never know. Just like the cops put his teeth out and then let him go. Just like the tussie pops, we'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> his lips, his lips were too. He plays a saxophone. No, but wait, this is real talk though. The um. I want to point out this comment, Miss Tay Delilah. LOL, I've never counted women. Why not? Why you devaluing pussy? Yo, I you ain't ready for that question. I don't huh? so, I mean, like, I it, 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 God, I don't talk <laughs> got on headphones. No, she don't. Look at her. <laughs> she not, is she not counting women that she has pleasure or women that has pleasure? Her. That's that's what I want to know. Like, because that's what I was kind of like. If I did the licking or they did licking, does it matter? You know, none of that matter. No. I, I, I don't think it, no, I don't think it don't. counts. If you count them I as a body, I don't think it matters. Yeah, I don't think it matters if, it, uh, if you count them as a body. Yeah. It, it all. Is it women all good, good for the y'all good? I ain't fuck that dude. He just gave me some head. Mm. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, maybe one in ten women that don't want something after they get something. And if it wasn't, and if it wasn't good, you it feel, count. the guys I know I felt it before. I stay there and I linger and I feel them tugging on the shirt a little bit. I linger a little bit and then they yank the shirt up. Fair is good for that. Mm -mm, she'll pick me up like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> pick underneath uh, my underwear okay. and pick me up like give me penis now. <laughs> give me something. If you didn't orgasm, does it count? I'm just asking. I'm asking for the viewers. I mean, but y'all don't always orgasm either way. No, we don't. That's why I'm like, do I have the count thing? Well, I, I think with women, we got to go on the time yeah. thing. If it was over 30 minutes, y'all fucking. <laughs> who, who, who fucking over 30 minutes? Who, I'm saying, who, like, if the oral, if the oral situation was over 30 minutes, then y'all, that, that, that quantifies. That's a lot. But that, I, I love this. Now I just want everybody to weigh in on what constitutes sex. Because I mean, like this is still feeding into the the confusion of what <laughs> lesbian I mean, sex is. Look, I mean, if you if, if you have a significant other that's not into that, and then you tell them, "Hey, I I didn't fuck this dude, but I gave him head, or he gave me head," you think he's gonna be equally mad? Like I think like he is. So I mean, it counts as something. Yeah. Sherry Bond says, "If you can get an STD or pregnant, it counts." There you All go. Right. I think if you ran the risk of getting gonorrhea out of the throat, it counts. I, I think that somebody giving head, in my opinion, is way worse than them penetrating somebody. Like, if you didn't pleasure somebody with your mouth, like, to me, that's, like, super intimate for me. Like, that's, like, a place that you don't, I, I don't know about. Because, I mean, I, I also eat ass, so it. I don't know if it, it's still... If it's so... If it's still as special... And I've, I've eaten, like, some horrible bologna sandwiches... Uh, I used to stack pizza on top, but I've eaten a lot of horrible things. So, you know, ain't none of y'all gonna stop from outside. <laughs> I said too many. Oh. I say to everybody else, <laughs> too many. Is yeah. everybody gonna let you finish that statement? I was trying to see where he was going with it. <laughs> no, no, no. Right, no. right. Retreat back down. <laughs> right. Like, oh God. <laughs> And he's so but, tickled. He's tickling himself. Right. <laughs> Calicia, what um is that person still a person you you know? Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And in the situations, I won't dig any further because I know your fiance. So no. <laughs> um, but in the situation where you're like you were the the one that got away, what specifically made you feel that way? Um, I mean, like, I mean, I, I hate to be like, you know, pack my own stuff on the back and toot my own wait, horn. Wait. Like, you know, I am very educated. I have this 
wonderful career path. I am an entrepreneur. I'm great at marketing. I am a hustler. Like, and you know, my ex is living with his mom and daddy. So I'm like, clearly. <laughs> First of all, T Hudson used to mess around. Don't do that to him. You don't know what's going on with him. Come on now. Yeah, that's how that is. Uh, he just got off of work. You ain't got to do him like that. But wait, I'm saving up. I'm saving up. Listed all professional stuff. Uh, relationship shit is why things don't work out, right? Or is that why you feel like he, that person valued you is because you had all those things going on? Well, no, because I got married when I was 17, right? So we were kids, you know? So, and the reason why we essentially broke up is because he wasn't progressing in life. Like he was just at a standstill. He, he didn't want anything out of life. He didn't want to, you know, get anything out of life. So it was like, hey, you got to do something or I got to move on. And, you know, we had kids, we were young and he didn't, he chose, you know, the alternative route, which is why we are essentially not together today. Gotcha. He was a great guy, though. He was really, you know, yeah. we were nurturing, loving, but but it meant nothing. It meant nothing if I can't <laughs> come home, you know, and the lights out and stuff because you won't help with the bills and stuff, you know. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. <laughs> Damn, he said he gonna need therapy for real now. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask y'all a question, and this is uh, I think this might have been on like. Uh, squad has or something like that. Would you rather mm. have a lifetime of great sex just hooking up but never being able to like really be with the person, or would you rather marry someone that cares about you, is a great supporter, a great spouse, uh, but the sex is just okay? Sex, I uh, well, both had sex in the in the question. <laughs> no, the good thing, the hooking up. <laughs> so you would be okay never like I mean so here are the parameters. With the hooking up, you can hook up with a person a couple times a, a week, but never back to back. So if you saw them on Monday, you couldn't see them on Tuesday. Next time you can see them is Wednesday. You don't really get to spend more than a couple hours with them because that's the parameters of this imagination, imaginatory world. Imag imaginatory, imag imag imagination, imaginatory. Imagine. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine the world. Uh, versus, you know, this person who has. Oh, you made it up to me. Imagination. This world of imagination. Yeah. Uh, there you go. But you, you, with, with, with the with the spouse, this person has a good job. Y'all not rich, but y'all are doing really well. You stay in a good neighborhood. You got the car you want, all of that type of stuff. The nice house. You got a guest house. People can come out and visit and all that type of stuff. But the sex is just okay. So and to be fair, we can't to clarify. Long fuck buddy or be in a, a, me, a marriage with mediocre sex that you're probably going to cheat in anyway. No, you, do you have the option to cheat? No. <laughs> no do you have the option to train them on how exactly. to make like, You always have the option to train them. Train. Okay, okay, because the, the, the training yeah. is you have the option to try, but it's not going to get any better. Right. Okay. And men's egos are so fragile. I hate to say that not all men, because I know not to say all men, but most men's egos are so fragile. Training them is like, you know, training uh alligator to ride a bicycle. It's like they don't want to really learn, you know. So unless you got somebody who values, you know, <laughs> you and values your needs, that's like almost impossible. I ain't okay. never had no problem. I know you going not. with the one night stands. Coco, what you going with? Um, well, see, this is hard for me because I'm cold hearted. I'm a Capricorn. I don't really like feelings anyway. So, <laughs> but. On the flip side of it, like the relationship that I'm in, like I, I kind of do love him and would like to be with him forever. So this is hard for me. Come back to me. Come back. Wait, to me. is I, his I, sex I, is his sex good or is wait? It good? Wait, she said I kind of <laughs> do love him. I, I don't want it to be forever. I, I'm used to being out here, living life, my nigga. Like, <laughs> yo, yeah. 
Okay, uh, T. I like that. Wait a second. What? I'm sorry. Yes, T. Hudson, answer the question. Oh shit, babe, what I did? Why you sent me do this? Tap it on the side. Right there. Oh, I did it. Wait, what I did? Go ahead, T. <laughs> I feel like I was almost in, kind of in that situation. What we weren't married. We weren't rich. Definitely weren't rich. We weren't there. But I felt like she was a very good companion, significant other. But. That that the sex just wasn't, you know, what I mean, the hitting as I'd, I'd liked it to hit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But also, has this been multiple hookups, like multiple people, or it could be a, a same person. Or- it could be the same person, or you could have a little roster. You could have a, like a Monday through Wednesday, then repeat type situation. Yeah, the stage I'm at in life, I'm trying to go raw with one person the rest of my life. That's too many chances I ain't trying to take. For real, yeah. for real. I dig it. I've done it, and I'm just like, yeah. What now? <laughs> I like connection. I'm cool with connection. Like I'm still, like I said, feeling the uh, little bit of connection of the five years that I was from. I know, I know how that that felt being with somebody yeah. for a, a period of time like that. Okay, so I'm cool with it. I'm Ups thinking, I can, cool listen, with listen, look, hey, T, how's the representing, bro? Now, mm-hmm. Mr. Talent said, "Let's be honest." I'm gonna go back up oh, to his, yeah. Okay. He said, let's be honest, most women don't train guys. We want y'all to speak up more about this. And I I agree. I understand what Khaleesi is saying about guys now. You gotta know how to do it. You gotta know how to approach it because guys' egos are fragile, but they do be wanting to know the same way we be wanting to know as women. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I like that uh, Nikki Marie said, if I can use toys, then I'm good. Like, right. Mm-hmm. Right. Like as long as you're not like no toys, yeah. no spice it up, we just go missionary it every time for the rest. And it's like miss me with that shit. Mm-hmm. That's that's right. that's oh, no. she, says, she says marriage, I can deal I can deal with just okay if I had to because I can be great to myself. And I assume she's talking about the toys mm-hmm. being great to herself. So okay. All right. What were we finna say, T? Wait, what I say? Well, I, I, I don't know. I made a comment to what was being said. I forgot now. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah. Uh, Amanda said, yeah. Raw is fantastic, absolutely. Uh, oh, no yeah, sex condom is, is over a six. Let's just keep it funky. Condom sex is turkey bacon, it's cool, it'll do, <laughs> but it's turkey bacon. Awesome. All right, I want that pork on my fork. Uh, Nikki Marie said, I speak up, I've definitely demonstrated my knees before. Okay, yeah, I ain't no like problem with training, you know what I mean? Uh, Mark QD said, No, I wasn't taught, so Google worked for y'all too. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we got Nikki on here because Nikki's been going off. Right. I mean, Mark, the Mark, the Mark Cutie on here because she has been going off. Uh, Kat Daddy <laughs> says most men don't allow women to train them because of the fragile ego, right? Kat, I right. will say maybe I, 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 I think it's, I think it's, it's maybe it's who I attract because I'm able to, to grab them reins and to grab them ears and be like, turn your head. This yeah, way. I, I think it's <laughs> all in the way that you do yeah. train the person, like if you sit them down. And you're trying to give them a lesson plan and an agenda of what you're gonna do tonight. <clears throat> I think that might, you know, what are you trying to say? I ain't doing it right, I ain't doing it good. But I think if you are in the moment and you are moving their head in a way that you want them to eat you or you say it aloud, um, uh, because I've been I've been sucking, I've been down there on a fan before, and she was like, mm, baby, too too hard, go a little soft. And I'm oh, okay, you know, because I like to please my partner, so I, you know, I pull back. Two notches or something like that. Two notches. Yeah, I, I dial it back. <laughs> I, I dial it back I'll a back little bit. A couple clips, you know what I'm saying? Both. Um, but I also I'm very fond of, of pleasing my partner. I don't go into it thinking that I know everything because I'm experienced or I have a lot of experience because every person is different. So it's also like the person that you're dealing with. And I think that we're dealing with a person that's been long term. You should feel comfortable talking to that person because just like sex is a, a, a uncomfortable conversation, can be an uncomfortable conversation. So can uh, finances. So can cheating or infidelity. It's a lot of uncomfortable it's like, kids. So it's a lot of uncomfortable yeah. conversations that are potentially possible to be had in a relationship. But talking about how your partner pleases you uh, is something that you should feel more comfortable doing it, especially if y'all are talking about being together long term. Okay, Amanda. That's very Words. My husband is a submissive one and a nerd. He loves to be taught, and I love talking during sex, so it works. Come on, Amanda. 
<laughs> yeah, I be talking. I be, I be talking to sex too. Yeah, man. talking, yeah. look, smack, and talking shit, all that type of shit. You know what I'm talking about? Get in. Well, you finna oh, say no, something? Cat, about I meant pleasing. What you mean? Oh no, I was responding to Cat in the chat. Oh no, I I, I meant training. I, I I can train. No, train. I'm a trainer. I can train. I, I can train. <laughs> it ain't that hard. I can train them. I stick with the word training too. Yeah, uh, and, and I'm a former educator, so I I can do both during the moment and outside of the moment. I can present you with a lesson plan. We can have a PowerPoint. Let's do this. Like this girl oh. coming with a big ass uh, four inch <laughs> three ring binder. <laughs> yeah, she got highlighted tabs. <laughs> All the days, what it is. <laughs> it's it's no like a lot of. <laughs> She sent them a formal like, Google invite. She got an invite. Afterwards, she's like, here's your study guide. I need to do that over the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what so going? we're going to have a surprise review. Uh, we want to talk about your performance last night. Right. Pop uh, how do you think you did? <laughs> I love that somebody, who was it? I can't remember who it was that I follow, some sexologist that I that I follow on social, and they pointed out that, yo, if you're telling your partner to stop running, quote unquote, running from you, they may be moving because they're uncomfortable mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and don't want to tell you that. So you're taking it as, oh, yeah, I'm putting it down. She's running from me. And it's like, no, this is uncomfortable and I'm trying to reposition. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, <laughs> case especially when i was too young and you just kind of figuring out what i liked and mm. whatever i didn't always say anything i was just trying to reposition myself mm. and now i'm like uh-uh no stop that mm. let's uh -uh. just switch let's just <laughs> i'll swim them legs shut on you get moved i'll right. bite an ankle move <laughs> 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 um somebody said a powerpoint that's funny um what was the other one i saw i don't know until you think of it i got another what is something that you haven't done in the bedroom that you would be willing to or interested in doing sex swing i have not done that either i would okay okay with the sex swing <laughs> quick too she had it locked and loaded right she's ready now you are you, know, you talking about because there, there are multiple ones. There's the one mm -hmm. that like go on the doors, the one from the ceiling. Is that one that you want to try more than another? Or I would want to do the one from the ceiling more than the mm -hmm. one from the door, but I know ceiling ones are hard to reinforce. Ain't nobody trying to go to the emergency room. So either or yeah, I got it. Got it. Okay, okay. Either or T Hudson. <laughs> 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 Ah, man. That's a little personal. I don't know. <laughs> you know what? You're right. And in all fairness, <laughs> we'll answer this one too. We'll answer this. So we'll come back to you. I'll let me or Farina go, and then we'll go Felicia, and then another one else to go. Then we'll come back to you, T. Hudson, mm -hmm. if that works. For you sure. want to go first? Um, Something, repeat the question. Is there something that you haven't done in a bedroom that you are interested or want to do or would be interested in? Oh, um, something. Wait, how real are you finna be? How real am I finna be? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Um, <laughs> the I would like to, um, and I'm speaking for specifically us. Okay. Um. Okay. I, okay. Does that help? Yeah. That helps. Okay. I would like to play more with um sex in public. Mm. Hidden, but in public. Mm hmm. Um, yeah, so I'm like, I had to corner him, and I'm like, let me bring up fucking in a car one more time, and you tell me no. I will drive this car into this house. We gonna fuck in a car. Like, that's how... I was all about fucking in a car when we had less nicer cars. <laughs> <laughs> this leather is so expensive to condition. Whatever. Oh, I know. My Ultima had leather. Yours back in St. Louis. No, nah, my Ultima had cloth seats. Really? Mm -hmm. But we shouldn't have been fucking on those because that's harder to clean than leather. I don't give a fuck. I knew I was getting rid of that car. I knew I was going to be that nigga. <laughs> okay, I have so many questions. So, y'all have done it in the car before. You just want to do was, it. It was yeah. years ago. Mm -hmm. like, okay. 
And you worried about the leather because you don't have a six point? I was just, I was just, I was just being. You're just talking crazy. I, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. I would always get a, come on, get a towel and I'll, no, 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 it's okay. We we have people to do all of that, but no. <laughs> <laughs> What's yours? No, no, it's Kalisha, then me, then T Hudson. Listen, everything you name it. I'm trying to do it. waiting for her lesbian moment. <laughs> she, she is. I'm so, listen, I'm so vanilla. I am so vanilla that any swirl of chocolate <laughs> will spice up my day. Okay. <laughs> I don't believe she is vanilla, but I do believe she would be with the shits. I don't believe she is vanilla. No, I feel like that she, her experience up until. Now has been vanilla, but her fantasies are far from. Y'all know that I am transparent AM, so trust me. If there were things going on, I'd be. I'm like, yeah. Serious thus far has been vanilla, but Kalicia's uh fantasies are not gonna go y'all down for my fantasies are bound to go well, well. Okay. I have never really been bound. Mm, yeah. mm, I like but that. I, I would I would feel safe with her like bound. And I'm talking about like my limbs, like both legs, both arms, not having control. And I've always been in control. So I would be the I mean that would be the only way I probably would ever finish like arrive orally is from being, being bound, bound and not being able to stop a person. Oh shit. Yeah, you to, want the ball in your mouth too? You say what? The ball guy. The ball in your mouth too. He got he got asthma. We probably should not restrict his breathing. <laughs> nah, but they got something that like a wolf ball. You can do. We've yeah. seen that. We had we had that before. Yeah, I would do that. Uh, I mean, I would do yeah. that. You would? Yeah, I would try that. I would try that. Okay, What's well, we gotta, go. we gotta run to the What's store that? real quick. <laughs> we gotta go. Let's wrap this up. It's been another great episode of More to the Story. Gotta run out, get these restraints and this ball gag. <laughs> Patreon it. I'll pay. Pay per view that. <laughs> right. uh, you know what? So we so, be so blown. I'm gonna start us an OnlyFans just for that. We keep talking about <laughs> we keep talking about this OnlyFans. It just you gotta really up though, Farron. You gotta sell tickets. It gotta be lit. I would have to be in a full on bodysuit that shows none of my tattoos to be able to do something like that. It just no, we all, don't care. all of my sponsor to be like dropped. <laughs> no way possible I could do it with my tattoos. But uh T Hudson, back to you. <laughs> all right. So it's like two things that I thought about is between a rent job in the Amazon position. Amazon position. I don't know what's the Amazon position. You know, yeah. you, I think y'all talked about it before. You, I know Pat brought it up. Or the, maybe that was another podcast. Pat's Let me see Farron. Say again. She's I said, right yeah, now. I'm gonna pull it up. I wanted to see it. We're gonna pull it up. Push gonna... spectacles up. Basically, up Amazon to, to buy everything, people. You gotta How old are you? Thirty. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't look it, is what people say. Oh. Is, is this the one where your legs are up, but your penis yeah, is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So, oh, so it's, like, it's like missionary for, for women. Yeah. But the woman's like, on top, like, brothers. And like you said, but I like, Is the woman in reverse? Yeah, you put up a picture. I don't know. We got, we know yeah, we did it. No All right, but, uh, we, we don't don't <laughs> Okay. What kind of animal? Yeah, I like to talk. Like, like you said, I like to talk shit. I like shit to be talked to. It ain't working. Look it up, y'all. No. Send it to me. Send it to my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I found it on man's health, but yeah. His legs are up. Oh, oh that's, that's, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. This I will. If this if this is a goal for us, then I definitely will be like, go to the jam. <laughs> you can't eat that rice cakes. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a that's an interesting position. Yes. Because yeah. I, I was reading that story last week where the dude, I think it was floating around where the dude had uh Went to the hospital from they call reverse cowgirl the most dangerous sex position mm -hmm. because if the penis slides out and the person is moving with the same force, uh, and if it slides out and you try to get it back in at the same force without actually using your hand, it can mm -hmm. break the penis. So ah! they call reverse cowgirl the most dangerous sex position. So 
to, to my, you know, my, my kings out there, if you ain't got a certain number, you might want to stay away from that one because that's one where even people who have the average slide out a lot. If she's doing rocking back and forth, now if she's just grinding on it, say, grind, you gotta grind, grind on it. That that's position. great. If that she's bouncing, you gonna fuck both of y'all. Up. I've definitely been in that position, position before and had my toes balled up, like just preparing for death because <laughs> that is that yeah. is one. That is one yeah, where you be, holding, you be holding your breath in them instances. You like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, when she's close, when I can yeah. tell that she's close, I don't, I don't. You got to raise up. You got to raise up. I plant my hands and I, I distribute my weight evenly. I hold my breath and I just go <laughs> in that same rhythm until we get there. Because the moment you switch up in, oh, you right, you almost right there. You going to fuck it up. You going to fuck it up. So I hold my breath during that time, too. Dennis Rodman, I think, broke his penis like three times. Oh, Dennis Rodman? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. when I interviewed him, he was telling me how he broke it. I feel like he did it on his own. Anything man, possible. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Anything possible. Coco said she's literally 30 minutes from being off and then people want to walk in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, before we get out of here, uh, I, I don't think we have anything else, do we? Do we have anything else you want to tap on before we get them out of here? Mm -hmm. Good? Yeah. Uh, hearts and minds are clear? All hearts and minds is clear. Okay, well, cool, man. This was a lot of fun. We want to thank our special guests for pulling up today. Uh, Chris, a.k.a. Mr. Talent, we're going to get you on the next one, brother, because we definitely want to have you on here. Coco Puff, thank you so much for pulling up. She was hanging out with us while she was at work. We got Kalicia Hobbs in the building, man. She pulled up on us real quick. And the homie T. Hudson as well, Delaware, is in the building. Thank you for pulling up. So all our more mob uh, tribe members out there, man, thank y'all for watching, tuning in, being willing to pop in. We saw a lot of regulars in here. No, nah, no, nah, just, just something weird like that. Uh, Sherry Barnes, Cat is in here. Uh, we got a lot of regulars, man. We appreciate y'all. And even the people that just be watching, because we see like eight to nine people comment, but we got 27, 30 people watching at one time. So even the people that don't comment, we appreciate y'all watching and just tapping in and having a good time with us. Nikki Marie, we enjoyed having you for this episode and, yeah. and the last episode as well. Uh, Brandon Trailer, thank y'all so much, man. My, as always, my name is to hear more. Bye, you guys. This has been another great episode of More to the Story. Um, I want to thank my special guests, Coco Puff, Kalicia, and T. Hudson for hanging out. And thank you so much, More Mob, for being in the building. Really appreciate it. And um, we will see you next week. I'm Farron Moore. All right, so for anybody that's watching or listening, you did not just have a stroke. Man, <laughs> it's just a child. It will not let me sign off of the show. So you, you're... You're listening correctly. She's just she's just very childish. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'm Tia Morse. Barrymore. We'll see y'all next week. Peace, guys. Bye, you guys.